Okay, it's AP Calculus AB uh, using integrals to find volume. And what we're going to do here today is we're going to take a function, take a piece of it, Matt, and we're going to take that section of the function and we're going to rotate it around the x-axis and we're going to see what the volume is of that thing. So the first thing to try is this one. Let's take this function right here. And this is the square root function. And I'm going to take the square root function just from here to here. And this is from, let's say, 1 to 4. And if you don't mind, I'm going to say let f of x equal the square root of x. Then what the whole idea here to do here is this, is that we're going to take the function, and we're going to rotate it like this in a circle, like this in a circle. And hopefully you can see that it's going to make this conical, uh, conical shape, kind of like a conical shape anyway, right? It's going to make this thing. So we're trying to figure out what's the volume of that. So... I guess the idea here is this. Is we're going to take this thing. As it spins around, it's going to make circles. And this, this is the horizontal line of symmetry right here of that circle. And it's going to start spinning around this circle. And as it does, it's going to make a bunch of smaller circles. And the volume of it will be this. The volume will be pi times the definite integral, a to b, <clears throat> of big R of x squared dx. So just to be clear about this, what I'm, gonna, what I'm saying to you is this. I'm going to cut out these pieces. I'm going to cut out these pieces here. I'm going to maybe cut out this piece right here. And then when I cut that piece out and examine it, it will look like this, maybe. Take this piece out. It will look like this. So here's the circle. But also it's going to have some volume, right? It's going to have some depth to it, right? So the area of a circle, right? Just the area of the circle is pi r squared, isn't it? <clears throat> well, that gives us all of this. It gives us all this right here. Now what we have to account for is the volume of it, right? Where we get volume is through this part right here, right? So the dx, dx gives us our volume. So what we're going to do here is this. We're going to use this equation over and over and over. And we're just going to fill in the blanks here. We're going to say that volume is equal to pi times the definite integral, and we, we want it from 1 to 4, right? So from 1 to 4 of, well, our radius is this, right? For us, we have to remember that rx is going to equal f of x. So we have rx, we had square root of x squared dx. From here, just a little bit of algebra to simplify this. So we're going to say that the volume is pi times the definite integral from 1 to 4. And the square root of x squared is just x, isn't it? dx. And hopefully you're recognizing this form here. From here we can just integrate. So I'm going to go ahead and integrate. So we're going to integrate. If you're taking the AP exam, it's really important that you show your work here. So this is the kind of work, even if they're letting you use your calculator, you should be showing the whole time. And it's pi, right, times the quantity. Well, the integral here is x squared over 2, right, from 0 to 4. And, of course, that will be, let's see, 4 squared is 16. 16 over 2 is 8, so is equal to 8 pi. So the volume is 8 pi. The other thing I would show is if I wasn't going to show this math, more importantly would be to say this, that we realize that to, to evaluate this, we would be multiplying, we're going to use the fundamental theorem of calculus, and it's big F of 4 minus big F of 0 all times pi is equal to our volume. All right? This part right here may be more important. Let me remind you one last time. Make sure that you're writing in calculus when you're writing on these exams because that's what your professor or your AP reader are looking for. Please subscribe.